Hi, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal, and I am going to be answering some fan questions while playing with puppies. I got the, I got the, guys, I'm trying to answer a question here, okay? I got a call from John Watts, the director, and he was like, hey, we're doing the next Spider-Man movie. He just wanted, hi, what's going on? Huh. The sweater's not a good thing for you. Hold on, there you go. I got a call from, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he just asked me, oh, do you want to play Mysterio? And I was like, what are you going to do with him? And it was really cool, um, it was a really cool, um, yeah. I remember Tom and I not being able to hold, uh, stop la we couldn't stop laughing when we first shake hands in the first scene where our characters meet. And he was just like constantly, uh, la every time I would come in and be like, hey, how are you, I'm Quentin. He would, uh, he would just start laughing, he couldn't stop. And so we both, it was 40 takes, we couldn't get it. In the movie, John Watts uses a millisecond of the shot because he couldn't get, he couldn't get anything usable. This sweater is destroyed, it's done. Or it's the new rage, puppy ripped sweater. What show would we do, you guys? Hey guys. <laughs> uh, something with dancing so he can do a lot of the dancing and I can just watch him do cool dancing. Right, you guys? These puppies remind me of Tom Holland. If you're talking about who is the biggest asshole, it would be Deadpool. Uh, he'd win that fight. That's basically the only fight there is, isn't there? My, this sweater is destroyed. Destroyed. I'm gonna send it to Ryan Reynolds. And first you two little guys are gonna pee and poop all over it. And then we're gonna send it to my friend Ryan. I'd love to see her take on Mysterio. That'd be kind of cool. She'd probably rock it. And then I'd be like, should have done that. Uh, just listen, just shut up and listen. That's the best advice I've ever gotten. I played uh, Jeff Bowman, who survived the Marathon Boston bombings, and he lost both of his legs in 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 the process. And um, his story I got to tell, and he's become a friend, and that really changed my life. Working with him and and and. Um, just trying to even recreate his story and understand how he felt and the courage that it took to survive what he survived changed my life and has changed me as a, an actor and also as an individual. I don't watch my movies on repeat every night. Someone once said that I, I, frame, I have framed posters of myself. It was the, literally the most absurd thing I've ever heard. I mean, I really love the process of making movies and if I'm in them and I'm producing them maybe like and, and part of that post-production process, I love it um, and I can be very objective. Sometimes things come on TV and I'm like, oh, you're pretty good in that scene, but that's pretty much it. I think it's really cool. It's a movie about adolescence, you know? It's a movie about all the difficulties of, of growing up and growing into this world that's so confusing and uh, beautiful, but uh, destructive and complicated and all those things. And what are you doing? <laughs> I understand there's sort of a cult following to it because I think there are not a lot of movies about adolescents that go into like the mindset of it and all the complications of it. And so, um, I, I know. I don't know if, I actually don't know if he dies at the end. I'm not sure. Do you guys know what Donnie Dark was about? Was that a yes? I did this movie a long time ago called Moonlight Mile, and it was with Dustin Hoffman and Susan Sarandon and Holly Hunter and Dabney Coleman and just these incredible, just behemoths uh, actors of their time and of their just legends, just like four or five legends um, of stage and screen and the, the knowledge that was being thrown at me constantly. I only took about one one hundredth of what I could have, so I wish I could go back and learn even more from those actors and from that process. It was like, it was the coolest. Who cares about theater or movies? 
You have puppies. The cool thing about doing uh, theater is that you're there at the same place every night and you get to go do it at exactly the same time. And there's always an audience there and um, they're kind of waiting and the excitement is like really palpable and really cool. And um, I actually will bring my dog to a uh, the theater, which is really cool. He spends like a lot of time backstage. Um, he's a real theater dog. Thank you to Pacific Pups Rescue for, for providing these amazing little souls for me to hang out with and to smell. And you guys are really sweet and yeah. By the way, I think I just ate dog food. They must have just eaten because I think I just ate dog food.